So I think DoDash is a risk and here's why. Listen up. Hi, it's Sheely and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, by all means, please subscribe and like so that you won't miss further videos. And on to this video. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on my girl. I'm not saying DoDash herself is a risk. I am saying people that are following certain things that she is teaching may be a risk. And this is what I mean. I am so proud of this young lady. I am so proud of her. I am so proud of hardworking people, whether they're men or women um, from any background. I'm so proud of anyone that believes in hard work. And this girl is a champ. She believes in hard work. When you can support yourself door dashing and hustling, you have potential. And I'm so happy that she's having her time in the light and she's shining and she's being blessed with the extra income that she needs because she has a family and I'm, I'm just so happy for a girl. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. But my concern is for others. And here's what I mean. There are individuals that will look at ones like DoDash and there's some other individuals that are doing very well, very well on YouTube right now. Right now, YouTube is really helping the small channels to be highlighted. And this is an amazing time for individuals like uh, DoDash and others because it gives them an opportunity to shine and to earn an income on their channel. So, but the thing about it is nothing lasts forever. Um, I am in the over 50 club. So I've seen a lot in my life. Um, just a quick example. Um, there was a time in my life when I had the perfect job. I was the assistant to the president and the board of directors and the um, CEO at this particular um, company. We were the headquarters of a real estate agency. And this was my favorite job. Um, the president was a Taiwanese lady and she was the best boss. To this day, she's the best boss I ever had in my life. The girl was good. Our company was doing awesome financially. We were getting raises every year. We were getting bonuses every year. We were living a life, you know, we were I mean, champ champagne and cocktails, you know, <laughs> we were happy, you know, and the company itself, um, it was a very family-like um, company because it was built from a family. So it had that family atmosphere. Everyone in the office was really close in the headquarters office, really close. Um, you know, you spend more time with your coworkers than you do with your family when you're working full time during the week. So we were together a lot. So it was nice to be with a group of people that I really liked. Make a long story short, one day FBI came to the front door. I let him in. The party's over. Our CEO had been secretly into um, child pornography very disgusting. We had no, no idea he was into that. But my point is nothing is definite. You know, we never thought our, uh, that company would come crashing down if that man was doing something like that. So my point is there are some individuals out there that are really excited at watching the success that ones like DoDash and others are having. And so they're feeling, okay, I can go out get a camera, get me a, get, a, uh, get me a phone, get in my car and record, and I'm going to be just fine. I can go and quit my job and this is this. Go ahead and get your camera, go ahead and sit in your car and go ahead and record, but don't quit your job, okay? Nothing is definite. Um, I've been watching a lot of channels lately, um, getting to know different ones on here, and there are some individuals that have been doing great. They have their small channels, um, and now they're being highlighted by YouTube and it's allowed them to get a lot of success. And I'm so proud of these individuals. Um, whenever I find one, I subscribe and I go in and I like their um, content and I leave comments because I want to support them. I want to support them in any way I can. So if you're a small um, channel and I come across you, I'm going to support you. It's just what I do. I'm going to support you as best I can. I know I'm just one person, but we add up. So these individuals, they are seeing this um, and so they think they can do this. But I just want them to understand that it's not definite, okay? It's not definite. If you are blessed to be able to 
get a channel that's successful like DoDash and others and you're bringing in six, seven, eight thousand dollars a month, don't live as if you are always going to have that six, seven, eight thousand dollars a month, okay? Put some money away. Save, okay? Save, save, save. We can't make money if we're spending the money, okay? Save for that rainy day because save for when YouTube goes down. Save for when your channel gets discontinued, okay? Please. So back to what I was saying is I've been looking at a lot of different channels and I see a lot that have gotten successful lately um, because of the new algorithm that um, YouTube has put together to support the small channels and push them out. But I've also seen a lot of individuals had, that have had their channels demonetized. And I really appreciate them making the videos because we don't know what we don't know. And because they've gone through this, they can give us tips and give us advice on how we cannot find ourselves in the same situation. And so I've been listening to a lot of these videos and many of them, some of them are like, yeah, I did it. I know why I got demonetized. I'm just surprised they didn't catch me sooner. <laughs> and others are like, I don't know what happened. To this day, I don't know what happened. I just woke up one day and there was an email saying I was demonetized and that was it. You know, I contacted YouTube. They told me to send in an appeal. I did, you know, I appealed it and I still haven't heard anything. So, and they honestly don't know. They honestly don't know what they did wrong. Um, so who's to say any of us might not wake up tomorrow and all of a sudden our channels are demonetized. We don't know. So we have to live as if they're going to be demonetized. In other words, we need to take advantage of the feast now to prepare for the famine. You know what I mean? Don't go quit your job. Please don't do that. You know, I see all these, you know, oh, you're over 50, go quit your job and go to YouTube. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't go quit your job and <laughs> because you got some success for two or three months on YouTube. Don't do that. Now, if you've had some success for a few years, girl, go ahead and quit that job if that's what you want to do. But if you've been having success for the past six months, that's wonderful. Don't go quit your job. You better stay your butt at work and keep making that YouTube money and bank it, okay? Bank it. You know, if you got some bills to pay, pay them. But live, live as if you don't even have this money. You know, save it. I, there's, We don't have to run out and spend. You know, we can save. Um, save for those rainy days because they're coming, okay? What goes up must come down. You know, and we don't know when YouTube is going to go down. I've seen some very big companies shut their door or stop doing things. Um, I run a business and uh, Pinterest, they used to do this creator, um, this creative program and we were making good money. Um, we creators, we were um, earning bonuses each month. And I think we did it for about six or seven months. And then out the blue, they said, that was it. No more checks. And we're like, what happened? What happened? I still don't know what happened, but our checks stopped, but the interest is still there, but they just stopped this um, funding program. So we don't know if YouTube might do that one day. Right now it's feast, but please remember there's also famine. Okay. So while you're in the feast, please prepare for the famine. That's all I'm saying. So the reason I said, um, DoDash is a risk. I wasn't saying she is a risk. I'm saying that those who think they can be her and they can just quit their jobs and, you know, dedicate their life to YouTube, they are risking it because it doesn't work that easy. Um, even DoDash got to eventually go back to work. You know, that's just life. So I'm just saying, please, please be smart um, about this and it's great to follow what other people are doing because that's how we learn and that's how we grow. Um, we grow off one another's off the back of others and we help each other to progress. But please just remember, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't depend on one source to make it. Now, if you've gotten your channel to a place where you're making, um, you know, six figures a year and it's consistent, you know, it's consistent. You know, you've been holding these numbers down for a year. You know, you're maybe you're now at 18 months. Okay. Do you, you do you, you can go ahead and quit that job now if you'd like to, you know, um, that's up to you. But if this is just a, a six month thing 
It's been going great for six months. I'm so happy. <sighs> Not yet. Please don't change anything financially yet. Don't go move into a more expensive place. Don't go buy a car. Um, don't go leave your job. Don't do anything financially different yet. Okay. All right. You, you know, we haven't quite made it yet. You know, we we're just having some initial success, but we haven't made it yet. It takes a long time to make it. it takes a long time to get there. You know, it's not an overnight success. Nothing is overnight, nothing legal anyway. Uh, and you got to remember, Dodash has had this, this channel a long time. She didn't just uh, one day wake up and start making videos and bam, she's monetized. She's had this channel a few years. It's just that now YouTube is starting to recognize small channels. And now they're starting to give um, push these small channels out, which is so great, so great, which I'm really loving. Um, thanks, I mean, if it wasn't for that, my channel wouldn't be monetized um, if it weren't for this new algorithm that they're doing. So that's all, I just wanna give a little advice. That's my little two cents, but I'm not an expert. You don't have to listen to me. Um, I'm just me, I'm just a little business owner and I just know what I know about my industry. So I'm not, a, I'm not an expert and I'm not trying to be an expert but I'm noticing a trend and the trend concerned me because um, I'm looking at some of these people and their mothers, you know, them, their moms, and it's just them and their kids. And they're saying, oh, I can quit my job now. Um, I'm gonna quit my job now because I've gotten two months worth of um, funds with my channel. And it's like, girl, no, no, don't you go quit your job. Are you crazy? No, <laughs> you better keep that job and go in tomorrow. So that's all I'm saying. So I hope that this is understood and not taken out of context, um, which can sometimes happen. Um, again, I am loving me some Dodash. I am so proud of my girl. And there are some other ones, I can't think of their names right now that I follow that I really love. There's this one young lady, she lives in the projects and her page is about life in the projects. And I love her page. I love her um, eloquency and how she, you know, uh, fashions everything and how she shares her life. You know, she she shows that the struggle is real, but I'm doing my best and I love her channel. And I can't think of the name now. I would love to give her a shout out, but I can't think of the name. Um, I'll find her and put her down in the um, in the description. OK, and go by and follow her and check her out. You know, give her some love. But other than that, hey, that's my two cents or my three cents or whatever. You know, it's inflation. That's my 10 cents. And um, hey, keep it going. But. Again, thank you so much for viewing our um, video. Thank you for joining our channel. And we hope that you will like and subscribe so that you can return at other times. And we have a ver variety of things that we do on this channel. Um, of course, we are a, we're a shop. We are a um, clothing and accessory shop. And we're also a hair shop. So we are our major area of focus, of course, is the clothing that we sell and the hair hair products. Um, but along with that, we like to also do videos on other things. You know, we like to do videos about, you know, the history of black hair, you know, the history of black fashion, um, other things, you know, jokes and, you know, what have you, as long as it's hair related or fashion related, we try to mix it in. So check out our channel go by and look at our playlist and see what you find there. If you are into hair, then we are the channel for you. We like to give tips on hair. We like to do hair tutorials. We like to do makeup tutorials, all of that good stuff. So check us out. So thank you for joining. My name is Yuli with Yuli's Boutique. And as always, I love you all. And take care of my loves. Until next time, be safe. Bye.